Okay, so I got a bit bored and I finished all the upgrades, all the machines are ready and the repairs and everything are done. Nothing much happening on the website, so I thought I'd do this short tutorial. Um, it's creating animated lava in about 5 to 10 minutes. Really simple solution. Um, it's not going to win any movies awards. Um, it's not to the standard of Andrew Kramer, but uh, you know, I'll give it a go. Some people might use it. Um, you never know. Okay, first of all, we're going to uh, select and create um, a plane. It doesn't matter how big the plane is. Um, you'll obviously change it or do whatever you want to do with it um, for any um, movie or project that you might use it for. Um, like I say, it's a really simple solution. Okay, we've made a plane. What we need to do is make the lava material. Okay, so I'll go up here and go to the material editor. Okay, make sure one of the um, boxes are selected and then go down to the diffuse map. In the diffuse map, we need to add a gradient ramp. Okay, so double click that. Other people do it other ways. I always usually double click it. Um, what we need to do now is set the pr parameters. Okay, so the gradient type we need to set is mapped. And this we need to set at ease out. Do the amount to 1, so come down to the noise, the amount um, to 1, so I do 1, enter, and the size do to about 2.5, and then enter, okay. Set it to turbulence, and um, as you see there, now in the slot we've got a sort of um, lava effect. So what I'm going to do now is assign that to the plane. Um, there's different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the way I do it. All I do is click, hold, drag, and drop it onto the plane. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll have a quick render um, and see what sort of um, effect we have. You can either press F9 or come up to here to the teapot on the top right hand corner and click on it. Okay, so as you see there, it's a sort of basic. Um, lava material what we need to do now is um, add some colors okay so close that um, initially I'm going to start this first one here as it's selected in the green I'm going to right click it edit properties and assign a color to it now the first color we should be assigning is um, like a bright yellow a really bright yellow okay that's about right yeah, and say OK. Close that. And this one here, again, right click, um, edit. Um, the color again, I'm going to give it a nice, nice, nice red color. Okay. okay. I'm going to give it a nice deep red. Let's bring it up a wee bit. There, a nice red color there. So OK. And the last one here, if we right click, edit properties, and we're going to give that a black. There we go. So OK, that's the color setup. We'll have a quick render again and see what we've got. I mean, it's not the best lava in the world, so maybe we can tweak that a little bit. And usually, if you go to the middle one and move it towards your yellow here, you'll get a sort of a better effect. So we'll do another render. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but like I say, this is just a quick tutorial. Um, and you can do the settings um, however you want. Right, okay, on to the next part of the tutorial. Okay, what we're going to do now is um, change the um, time configuration. As you see down here, um, at the bottom, it's set to 100. What we want to do is set it to um, about 200. So if you come down here and go to the animation section and the end time and type in 200. Enter and then say OK. And as you, you see now, we have um, the... Um, animation now set to 200 okay we'll put that to zero what we need to do is make sure that the phase level is 1.5 which it is 
and if it isn't, change the phase on the noise to 1.5. Um, then go to um, the auto key, make sure you're on frame 200, and then change the phase value on the noise to zero. Enter. And then unselect the auto key, and as you move it down, if you see on the phase where the noise is there, my mouse is just passing it now, it is moving with the animation. There we go, it's going from 1.5 gradually down to zero. Okay, so that's a part of the animation done there. Okay, what we need to do um, is to make the animation, uh, I'm going to close that, make the animation a little bit uh, more realistic. So what we're going to do is go to the modifiers tab here and click on that. And to the plane, as the plane selected there, uh, we are going to add a wave modifier. Okay, so we go down here, wave, and we've selected the wave modifier. Okay, what we need to do is go to frame zero, make sure that um, your animation is frame zero, the amplitude one to zero, which it is, amplitude two, uh, zero, wavelength. 50, phase 0 and decay 0. So you leave that as um, the default setting. So we move the slider here right up to the top. This is where we make slight changes. Okay, so if you do the amplitude um, number 1 to 5, so that's 5, enter, uh, amplitude 2, I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to leave the wavelength to 50, but I'm going to change the phase to uh, 1.5. I didn't want that. Change the phase to 1.5. Don't know why that popped up. Sorry, folks, but uh, there you go. And okay, as you can see in um, the um, front left and perspective view, you can see the changes. You can see the waves. And the changes. Um, um, what we're going to do now is do a quick render of that. Okay. So again, you can't see um, much on there, but what we should do now is go to the um, the render settings, which is that one. Okay. And go down here to the render output. What you can do then is if you click on files, you can um, select a name. Okay, and I've got one there, my render outputs. I'm going to call it something like um, Lava. Duh. And then go down to an AVI file and then save it. Okay, what you would do then, and that's decided to update itself. Um, just say OK on that, um, and then you can render it out. So if you click on Render, it will start doing your anim animation. OK. Ah, for um, those who realised, what I've not done up here is changed it to the active segments. I was just uh, rendering out a single file there. So change that to active segments and then render it out. Um, just say Yes. And that will go through and um, render out all the files uh, to create your animation. Okay, once you've rendered it out, you should get something um, that's similar to this. Okay, like I said, nothing special. Um, but um, after you've tweaked uh, the settings, maybe it's added a, a bigger wave. Uh, made a, a better lava, um, you could have some fantastic results.